All right, this P-bar workout is going to help you to achieve an L-sit to bent arm press or L-sit handstands. Um, so the first one you're going to do is a donkey kick with a negative. So you're going to kick up into a handstand, squeeze your feet together, point your toes, squeeze your butt, and then lower down slowly. So kick up, exhale, squeeze, lower down slowly. Kick up, squeeze the butt. Lower down slowly. Again, all these exercises are designed to help you achieve the L-sit to bent arm handstand or bent arm press. Okay, so the next one is going to be L-sit to bent arm. So obviously, we're not going into the full press. You're going from an L-sit position, tucking under, staying in a ball, keeping the elbows in tight, and extending the legs. So again, as I tuck under, I stay in that ball. I keep pushing away from the bars, elbows in, squeeze the feet together. Feet are always together in these pike positions. It's gonna help you engage the lower body, keep everything in place, and keep the form much better and stronger and more stable. All right, now you're gonna do a tuck push-up. So from that L-sit to the bent arm, this is the transition, you're in a tuck. So basically what you're going to do is try to pull your knees in, flatten out your legs, point your toes behind you, and you're going to drop down into basically a, a push-up as low as you can go and then push back up through. All right, now you're going to do an assisted inverted press. So with one foot in the air, this makes it harder. So I'm going down slowly, pushing up a little faster. So I'm kind of focusing on the negative or the eccentric phase. Again, keep the elbows in tight on all of these P-bar movements. The, the elbows should not be flailing out. You want to keep the elbows tight to your sides, um, kind of as, as close as you can, depending on how wide the P-bars are. Now I have one leg in the air. I'm pointing the toes. I'm trying to keep that leg straight and extended, dropping the top of my head straight down in between the P-bars, pushing back up. Okay, now we're going to do a plyometric push-up. So starting on the bars, drop yourself in between. Do a plyometric explosive push-up off the ground. Absorb it as you catch the bars. You're going to absorb bent elbows, absorb it, pop off. Absorb on the ground, pop from the ground, and push up. All right, now sphinx push-up. So basic push-up position, but here we're just doing a flexion and extension of the elbows. So that really nothing's moving except for the elbow joint. You're dropping the elbows straight down to the P-bars to where the forearms are flat on the P-bars. Again, the elbows shouldn't be flailing out. The elbows should be parallel with the bars, and you're keeping them in. Exhales, you push up. All right, now battering ramps. So you're going into a, a, a bent arm, like planche push-up, so feet are wider than hips. Again, elbows are in tight. I'm in like a plank position with my arms at about 90 degrees. And then I'm just driving through as far forward as I can onto my toes. Exhales, you push through, keep the abs tight. 